Unions from across the region have thrown their support behind Tamor miners fighting a long-running battle over working conditions. Dozens of workers joined a picket line outside the colliery today. Extrada is refusing an offer to negotiate with the union until staff return to their jobs. Thankful for this morning's sunshine, these miners have braved five nights of wet and chilly conditions. It's been a bit of a struggle, but uh, hopefully something good will come from it all. Pretty cold. I've been in the pits, what, 33 years, and we never had to resort to anything like this. They're waging a week-long protest, angry about a long-running dispute with Extrada over work conditions. And today, unions from across the region joined their fight. There's uh, families being affected, there's uh, workers up here in the cold and in the rain um, day after day at the moment, and it's unacceptable. Oh, it's a disgrace. You know, these blokes are here trying to earn an honest wage, trying to bargain in good faith, and the companies won't listen to them. The union had offered to call off its industrial action on the condition Extrata started negotiating. Each time they want to meet with us, we will lift the industrial action for that time. But if it's positive and is moving forward, of course we have the ability to lift it on a permanent basis. But Extrata says it will only start talks with the union once it stops its industrial action. The mining giant says only then does it show the workers are fully committed to resolving this long-running dispute. A claim strongly rejected by those on the picket line. They now get an average price per tonne of coal out of this colliery of $220. If they can't see their way clear to giving us a fair and equitable deal, it's very unfair. Dimacy Clancy, Wind News.